Right, right. God will be a cruel God yes, he if He promised us things and, and wants us to obey His word and not reveal it. Stop <laughs> right. 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 But He's not. He's a loving God. Amen. But we have to take the time. We have to take the time and read His word. We have to take the time and spend time with Him in prayer. Right. We get too busy. Uh -huh. Oh, I got to do this. I'm working six jobs. Well, in between them six jobs, you, can, you have to use the restroom. Mm -hmm. Read the word then. My wife will like for me to say that. But hey, mm -hmm. read the word. What I'm saying is we always, there's always time sure to read is. the word. That's right. But what we do, we have other things that have taken priority mm -hmm. in our lives mm -hmm. and not the word. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Martha was one of them. She was too busy. Yes, Mary is. sat down at the feet. What, at Jesus' feet. What Martha was doing, she could have sat down at Jesus' feet and listen to. But see, people that don't spend time in the Word, people that don't want to read the Word, people that, that, that that's too busy, they want to pull you out of mm -hmm. from listening to the Word too. Mm -hmm. that's, right. uh -huh. that's why you have to you have to make a decision to turn your phone off, turn the television off, put the chain lock on the door, <laughs> and spend some time with God. Mm -hmm. Spend some time in His Word, mm -hmm. spend some time listening to Him. Mm -hmm. Don't go in prayer and you're the only one talking. <laughs> Listen to what God has to say. Amen. A lot of stuff, a lot of answers you haven't received because you won't shut up mm -hmm. and let God talk. Right. Mm -hmm. You go in and tell him your problem and all was wrong, and then you walk out. Yeah. You got to go sometimes just go in there and say, Lord, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm just going to listen at you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got all the answers. I want the answers. Praise Jesus. Now, oh, I got to try to do this this now. There are many Christians who are not experiencing or seeing the benefits of God's promises manifest that are made evident in their lives. And one of the reasons why I believe is that they're not consistently doing God's word or his will. All right? When we do God's word, we're doing His will. You know that, right? right. His word is His will. Right. For instance, if you left instructions for your children to do something and you put it on the refrigerator, that's your word, but that's your will for what you want them to do. God's word is His will. It's what He wants us to do. All right? Are you with me? Yeah. Now, many believers are not experiencing the benefits of God's promises because they are not consistently doing the word. Before you start murmuring that I'm teaching work, a worse gospel, let me explain. I'm not talking about working for righteousness. Righteousness is a free gift. Yes, it is. You can't buy it. You can't uh, fish yourself up to look good enough to receive it. You can't work for it. It's free. Yes. All you have to do is receive it. Yes. What I'm talking about is acting in faith. faith. Amen. Faith. If you are acting in faith, then there are corresponding actions that there, there are actions that we can see. That's right. James says faith without words dead. is dead. dead. So if I'm trusting the word and I'm really believing God's word, then there's an action that you can see. Right. For instance, when the guys, when the four guys lowered their friend down through the roof, the Bible says Jesus saw yes. their faith. Yes, he did. So faith is an action that can be seen. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. So if I'm in faith with the word, then there's actions that people can see. So that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, when we truly believe the word of God, faith, like I said, is a corresponding action that accompanies what we believe. Mm -hmm. When we neglect to mix, mix faith or action with the word of God. The word will not profit or benefit us. When you don't, when you say that you know the word, but you don't put faith with it, there's no action with it. It does you no good. Turn with me to Hebrews chapter four. Hebrews chapter four, and we're going to look at verses one and two. When you get there, say amen. 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 
Verse 1 says, therefore, since of, now he's talking about the Israelites there, okay? It says, therefore, since a promise remains of entering his rest, let us fear less of, less, let us fear lest any of you seem to have come short of it. Now, the rest of God is faith. It's talking about faith, but for the Israelites, the rest of God was the promised land. Mm -hmm. All right? We're in that promised land now. When you accept Christ, you automatically enter into that promised land. All right? But he's saying that you have to enter it through faith. All right? Because if you don't, you can come short of it. Look at the next verse. It says, For indeed the gospel was preached to us as well as to them, talking about the Israelites, but the word which they heard did not profit them. Uh -huh. Now, not profit as a prophet brings forth the word, but he's talking about gain. He's talking about an advantage here. Right. He says, it did not profit them not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. So they had the word, yes, they did. but they didn't act on the word. Amen. So they didn't receive the promise that God had for them. Mm -hmm. Awesome. See, when you when you act on the word that you hear, then you receive the promise that the word says. Mm -hmm. Amen. If we truly believe the word of God, it will be revealed through our corresponding action to the word of God. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Now, what I'm about to say do not apply to everyone, so I'm not generalizing. Okay? However, I do believe that what I'm about to say applies to a great number of Christians. And that is many Christians believe that just hearing and knowing the Word of God is enough or all it takes to get results from the Word. They, they can quote the Scriptures to you, but they are not getting results because they're not doing the Word. But they're in deception in thinking that that's enough. 